let's take a quick look at what a Spark streaming program looks like and do a hands-on. Let us say we want to count the number of words continuously in the text data received from a server listening on a host and a port. How do we write such a program? Let's understand it. There is a data server which runs on a port and produces data. This data becomes input data stream to Spark Streaming. And then Spark Engine counts the words in the batches. To simulate the above scenario, on one console, we will run a server which generates data. And on another, we run Spark Streaming code, which listens to this server and counts the words. We have provided the code on CloudX Lab GitHub repository. Let's take a look at the code. First, we import the Spark Streaming libraries. Then, we create a local streaming context with a batch interval of 10 seconds. Batch interval of 10 seconds means Spark Streaming creates batches with 10 seconds of data from input stream. Since we will run this code in Spark Shell, Spark context will be available as SC variable. Streaming context is the main entry point for all streaming functionality. Ains D stream represents the stream of data which will be received from the server. It represents batches of data with each batch having 10 seconds of data. Each record in lines D stream is a line of text. Next, we split each line in each batch into words. Please note that since we have applied high level D stream operation flat map to lines D stream, words will also be a D stream. Next, we map the word D stream to a D stream of word comma one pairs and reduce it to get the frequency of words in each batch of data. Now we print words and their count to the console, which are calculated every 10 seconds. Up to this point, we have just defined the computation steps. No real processing has started yet. To start the computation, we define ssc.start. To stop the computation, we define ssc.await termination. Let's run the code. Clone the repository into CloudX Lab directory under your home directory in the web console. If you have already cloned the repository, then just update it using git pull origin master command. Since I've already cloned the repository, I will just update it. Go to the code directory by typing cd space tilde slash cloudxlab slash spark slash examples slash streaming slash word count, where tilde is a quick way to represent your home directory in Linux. Tilde generally found above the tab key on your keyboard. Open wordcount.scala and copy the code. Now launch Spark Shell by typing the command spark shell and paste the code. As you can see, Spark Streaming code has started. It has given error as there is no server running on localhost and port 9999. Let's run a server on port 9999. Netcat is a good way to quickly create a server which listens on a specified port. Log in to the web console in a new window and type nc space dash lk space 9999. Now, whatever you type here would be passed to a process listening at 9999 port. Let's type some data. Type the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now switch back to the console where Spark Streaming code is running. It may take some time to print the word count as Spark Streaming code starts processing only when 10 seconds batch is available. As you can see, word count is printed on the screen. 
let's type in more data type my first spark streaming code and wait for it to get processed as you can see word count is printed on the screen spark shell is good for quickly testing the code in the production environment we submit the job using spark submit command let's run the above word count code using spark submit for spark submit we need to create a jar package containing the code and other dependencies we have the word count scalar project in cloudx lab github repository go to word count sbt directory and open build.sbt file as you can see we have specified two library dependencies here spark dash core and spark dash streaming here 1.5.2 represents the spark version you can change the spark version if you want to run your code on different available versions of spark source code for word count is located inside src/main/scala directory let's package the jar run sbt space package from the root of your project which is word_count_sbt wait for jar to get created now type the command as displayed on the screen to run the word count code as you can see spark streaming code has started now type in some data in the second console and you can see the word count is printed on the screen we have also provided the python code for word count problem in the word_count.py you can run python code using spark submit command type spark submit dash dash master local to word count dot py and as you can see the spark streaming code has started now type in some data in the second console and you can see the word count is printed on the screen as you have seen in the word count example we have to add spark streaming dependency to sbt or maven project for ingesting data from other sources like kafka flume we add the corresponding artifact to the dependencies please refer to maven repository for full list of supported sources and artifacts let's do a quick recap of the word count program using spark streaming we first initialize the streaming context it is initialized in sse variable in our code then we define the input sources by creating input d streams it is defined in lines variable in our code then we define the streaming computations by applying transformations to d streams it is defined as words pairs and word counts variables in our code then we start receiving data and processing it using streaming context dot start then we add a code to wait for the processing to be stopped manually or due to any error using streaming context dot await termination please note that the processing can be stopped manually using streaming context dot stop